As you heard on Bridge City News recently, the new Canadian Food Guide received a major overhaul. It was the first time in 12 years. It emphasized a shift to a plant-based diet at the expense of meat and dairy. One local beef producer says you cannot put a lot of stock into the Food Guide. The Canada Food Guide is a sham. Its interests have always been purchased by uh, lobbying organizations, whether for pork or for dairy or beef. So it's, it's not something tax dollars should even be subsidizing to begin with, because it's not honest. But second of all, um, I, I can support their recommendation for people not to eat the meat that is currently available in the grocery store because it's toxic. Toxic because of how they're fed and the conditions they're kept in and the drugs and pharmaceuticals that are being used there. Uh, so the beef industry kind of has this coming because there's plenty of evidence that shows that eating that meat is no good. However, the Canada Food Guide is a little daft for not recommending, uh, instead of uh, you know getting rid of meat, they should be recommending that people find clean sources of meat. But it, it only further points out the fact that they're not an honest organization that's interested in health.